Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tom. We'll be building how to stream your voice clone with Django. What that means is we're going to use a voice that's been cloned and then show you how to build a Django app that streams the audio to the user's browser, turn our voices into an uh, instrument. Here's how the final product will look and sound. So you see we choose a voice and then we click Create Audio. The Western world is a beacon of happiness. And there's our stream. Let's enter in something else. Choose a different voice. I love Python and, we can download and want to use useful AI as a It's going to be really quick. Let's get into it. So we're here on the post uh, link in the description below. And then I'm going to go down and create my app here into the terminal and installed. And there we go, installed. And we should see core and sim pop up there. OK, so now we're going to register our sim app as usual. So go down to, to in core settings and then just type in sim. Sim is just the name I choose for the app. Nothing special to it. OK, and we're going to add our environment variables. So which we just need to copy this and copy and paste it over here in our settings file, like that, dot env. Um, actually, we can, that's a duplicate, so we can delete that. So now we'll create a dot env file to store our environment variables there, dot env, and then copy this in. And we're going to fill this out using our 11 labs API key and then the particular voice IDs that we have generated on 11 labs. So to do that, sign up 11 labs, the link is there. And then actually, let's go there. OK, and so now we've got Andrew here, we've got David, and we can just click here on this ID to get your ID. But if you want to actually clone it, like this is one I've cloned of myself, this is actually really super simple to do. Here is another video where I walk you through how to do it. We'll record five minutes of yourself speaking, upload it, and then it's, it's raring to go. So we'll add my voice there, my ID there. We'll add this one here. I got earlier, and we'll add this one here as well. Copy those voice IDs in. So yeah, okay, great. And also, and then you'll need to add your Eleven Labs key here. Okay, great. Now we've done that. Now let's add our URLs and connect everything together. So go to core and our URLs there. Paste this over the top, and then we want to create a URLs file in sim urls.py and then paste this over the top for app level routing. So we have two routes: one to render our index, and the other for stream, we set up our initial page, and then the initial page will then request from our stream, from our back end, rather than having to load the full audio of, for an hour, like an audio book or more. We want to just get a tiny chunk, a second, and then load each on demand. That's streaming. So we're going to now add our templates. So go to sim temp and create a directory called templates in sim. And then we're going to create inside the templates folder, we create a file called index.html. And then we can Copy this and paste it in. There's our index. So here's our index. And then you can see we've got our form here, which is going to go to that URL and then get our, on the get, and then show our series of voices here. And then that's pretty much it. It's very simple. We've got a little bit of extra uh, yeah, JavaScript here, which is very simple just to encode the, uh, the ID of the particular voice we're getting when we send the form to, when, on the stream. Um, but it's, yeah, it's not much to it. This might look a bit more complex than it is. Essentially, this gets the, the text and then encodes it. So if you write, hello, my name is, it will then encode it into a URL format. So you can put it in the URL. And then choose his query to put query, uh, have the voice, and then get the particular ID of the voice. So that when we go to this stream audio, it, we're, send, we're, we're getting with the text and then with the particular voice ID. That's all it is. And then it loads it up and plays. Really easy to do. And let's, so let's continue. Create our views. Copy this. And go to views here in sim, paste over the top. And just do a quick walkthrough. This is our index. So we render Bruce with those various IDs into our template. And then this is the stream part that our index here communicates here, stream audio which goes to there, to there, and then to here. Gets the text from our here that we've encoded in the URL, and then also gets the voice here that we also encoded in the URL there. And if you don't have any of them, we, we enter a, an error because we need both. Otherwise, we load up the 11 labs client, start to create an audio stream, and then return the response as a stream using streaming HTTP response from Django. Pretty self-explanatory, hopefully. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below, and I'd be delighted to answer. Now let's run our app. So open our terminal. OK, so we're here. 
Uh, by the way, if you if you need to re uh, if you change any of these variables, make sure to refresh this uh, to restart the server. Otherwise, it won't update because Django loads these when you first start the server. Okay, here's our voice. The Western world is a beacon of happiness, and let's change something. Hi everyone. Actually, let's get some text from somewhere. Copy that in and paste it. Okay, this is all unstyled, and we might style it in a bit. Okay, create audio. Looking down here to see if the it. Western world is a beacon of happiness. Hi everyone, free as a bird. Full code export. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to use Photon Designer. Copy and paste all everything you generate. <laughs> all we everything. want to give you maximum build speed, like a peregrine falcon wearing a jetpack. Pretty realistic voice, <laughs> excluding the <laughs> the what was that? The error there, but yeah, that was me. Maximum build speed. Okay, and then we can change the voice. Let's try out Mike. The Western world is a beacon of happiness. Hi, everyone. Free as a bird, full code export. And let's try this voice as well. The Western world is a beacon of happiness. Hi, everyone. Free as a bird, full code export. Those voices are amazing from 11 Labs. And yeah, feel free to check out my video, which I mentioned already here, on how to clone voices and get these IDs. So you've got some, a working streaming app, and let's get some styling. Feel free to style it yourself. I will, yeah, let's use Photon Designer. And let's get our template, which is really simple here. And copy our template there. And then we'll go to Photon Designer, because we're going to generate the UI. And then go to Photon Designer, start for free. And then we will activate Django mode, paste in our existing code there, and then we'll use this prompt, make prominent in the style of Apple prominent play button. You'll probably need a bit of tweaking, but it's a, it's a way to generate a good, or oh, a really Cool looking start, a draft. Okay, and now we're generating. Let's make this full page. It looks pretty, yeah, it looks really good. Looks really nice. And we're using Tailwind. Tailwind is here. That looks really good. And so you could copy and paste that over. Let me do that actually. Actually, I don't really like that button. Let's make it more elegant and compact. A few seconds, start to generate again. Hear your voice. That, that looks better. We'll go with that. Uh, let's just one more, make it even more innovative. There's a bit of a wild card. Sometimes it doesn't work so well here. Let's try it. And oh, I like it. I like that gradient. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll wait for it to finish generating. Cool. And I will miss out that image at the end. Great. And now let's paste that in. And and we'll take it from there. We'll need to update a little bit of things. To, so yeah, we'll need to prune it a little bit. We'll need to get rid of this placeholder. And we'll need to add in the, for instance, that form action to our stream, which so that everything runs as we expect. So that everything runs as we expect. So we've got our form here. So I need to add, change this form action to, I need to add that in there. Uh, this, I should, I'll probably prune this over time, but at the moment we need this. And then our text error we can check is there. Does it have the right ID? No, let's add the text ID in there. A little bit of live coding here. Text ID and the name is also required there. So we just need to put that into the text error there. Feel free to skip this if you want, but I think it makes it much better. Uh, no need for two required because there's duplicate, that's fine. And then for select, we want to use this as well. Select. And we want to use our Django, which it has removed for unknown reason. Um, but we want to add those ID and the name, which are critical. And maybe they've already been kept in. They have. That's good. So we don't need to add them. Actually, I wonder if that has been kept in. Yes, it has. Oh, that's good. So we don't need. We didn't need to add it in the first place. And then do that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, cool. That should be working soon. Let's just do a quick check. The button is submit. Is that type submit? Yeah. And audio source ID, audio source. We might need to put that. No, that's all right. Okay, let's try that out. Get rid of the existing. And then refresh our and now refresh our page. That does not look good. And the reason is because we need to add tailwind. So we just need to add tailwind. I'll just use the CDN. So I'll just copy this over here. The copy over the head here. Just copy it straight in. So we'll use Tailwind here, because I'm, I'm using Tailwind. Just paste in the CDN link here into your head. That should do it. And now we go back to our page. And there we go. That looks pretty cool. This is a button from 
the recording thing that I'm doing. And we'll get rid of that image as well, um, like that. OK, and let's try it. The Western world is a beacon of happiness. Um, hello, everyone, from Bruce. And then create audio. Hello, everyone. Works, great. As you can see, and so we've got something going with Photon Designer very quickly. That should wonderful if that will work. No, let's get rid of that then. It just does nothing. And get rid of that. There we go. And for well, let's move on. Okay. Choose an, and then choose the voice again. The Western world is a beacon of happiness. Technological progress benefits everyone. Great. And so there we go. We've styled something. And of course, feel free to go further if you want the actual. And this is what we used. You can always just iterate. I mean, three, two iterations is very, very quick. Do a few more, and this gets better over time. Or change the quality to best quality. We weren't even using the very best. And yeah, here's a video of me doing it earlier. Actually, I used, maybe you want to use a different prompt. Try out different prompts. Mine generated one that was actually maybe a bit better, actually, than what we've just created. And here's my final output. You've just built a Django app that streams audio to the user's browser, kind of turned your voice into an instrument that you could use for any audio book you wanted. Yeah, that, there's some cool apps there, I, I, I imagine, to be that I haven't really seen existing. Yeah, to, to let people record audio books for their children using their voice or using the children's voice or using the parents' voice. That would be very cool. So besides that, I'm making loads of content weekly relating to Python and Django. Here are some more videos. All the best.